So I downloaded this Yoda head from Thingiverse and I want to make a pencil holder out of it. Now it's got some problems like the bottom is uneven and I want to straighten that out. So I will use the plane cut feature. See this arrow? Everything above it will get will will stay and everything below it will get cut. So I'm adjusting the plane, except, and now it's nice and straight. I want to extrude it a bit, so with the select key, I'll select the whole bottom. This can be a bit tricky because I've selected parts I don't want to select, but if I hold the shift key down and run the select tool over them, they'll deselect. Now I need to get those small parts there, so I'll zoom in and set the select brush to small and now I can get those parts. Next hit the T key to bring up the transform tool and then extrude it down. Now I want to make this Yoda head somewhat artsy so I'll use the Pattern tool. This is the default pattern. You can adjust it, pick out different kinds of patterns, pick out their size and their spacing. And if you drag the manipulator, you can adjust the angle but I'm just going to use the default and accept. What I found about the pattern tool is it doesn't work well on all models. Sometimes you get very unpredictable results and sometimes it works better if you angle these pattern tubes or change their direction. So it does take quite a bit of experimentation to get a good result. And this is the result I have. Not too bad. I've got some ridges at the bottom again. But that's okay. Now notice I've got two models now as we see in the object viewer. And I'm bringing in a third model from the mesh mix bucket, a cylinder. And I'm going to drop it into space. I'm not going to attach it to the model because then it would be welded to the model. Now if I drag that white cube, I can adjust the size. And now I'm going to place the cylinder in the center of its head. If I pull up that green box, I can adjust it non-uniformly, scale it non-uniformly. Now I'm going to get rid of that top model because it tends to interfere with Boolean operations. See I can turn it on and off, click on the trash and it goes away. And now I hold the shift key down, select these both and click the the boolean difference and there you have it i've got a hole in the head now to put pencils in except now it's okay except i notice i do have an issue here looks like a non manifold edge but the inspector will fix it. And
and there you have it.